Hi and welcome Capricorn, Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your June 2021 tarot forecast. Now it is a general reading, so always trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell to make sure my videos come through to you in your feed. And if you follow me regularly, love your support. You're rocking awesome. Now there is a giveaway for June. And uh, the winners for May 2021 will be announced on my channel soon, depending on when you're watching this. So if you are brand new to my channel, you do hit that subscribe button or you opt into my extended versions of my readings this month. You're going to go into the draw to win the beautiful Sacred Power uh, Oracle Cards, gorgeous deck by Anna Stark. I will be drawing someone randomly. And as I stretch for the second prize that you're up for grabs for, so that those of you that do follow me regularly, you're going to go into the draw to win the beautiful Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle deck. Got to say, it's one of my favorites. I think you'll love it. I'll be selecting someone who has been following me for a while, very positive community member. Yeah, so I'll be on the lookout for you for all of June. Mm -hmm. Winners will be announced on my channel. Mm -hmm. what else oh so if you want to get hold of the extended they're 35 to 45 minutes long deeply transformational inspirational motivational so we dive a lot deeper into your general energies it'll show a lot more about your career your finances your life purpose love the monthly one always includes a love forecast we dive into what your soulmates thinking feeling going through relationship influences at the time as well as love attributes also have a look at your chakra balance and your connection to spirit. So who you're connected to in the spirit world, your divine gifts and talents as well as guidance, higher guidance from spirit as well every month. So in order to get access to that, all you need to do is hit the join button on my channel right next to the subscribe button or the very first link in the video description box below. It's only $5.99 a month. You get both the monthly and the mid-monthly extended versions of my readings. So if you want to invest in yourself, go check that out. What else? Um, my personal readings are open as are distance Reiki energy healing sessions and packages. There'll be a link that pops up here if you're interested in getting some extra guidance support from me. Go and check that out. And follow me on Instagram. Do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. So if you're on Instagram, come and say hi. All right, let's get started, Capricorn. So we're going to dive straight into predictions with a beautiful angel wisdom tarot. And let's see what you need to know. I've got to say, we've got gorgeous energy today. We've had storms for about four days in a row. And the sun's out, which is just divine. I am ragged up because we're going into winter here. Mm -hmm. What is it Capricorn needs to know at this time? All right, there's two here. Oh, this is beautiful. You've got the star card, yeah, which is this beautiful, flowy, kind of an angel standing there just pouring <laughs> silver glittery energy yeah um into the river very much about having faith in your dreams in your future it can certainly represent a beautiful shift in positivity optimism success coming your way overcoming challenges oh and you got the lovers so definitely love connection here can speak to true love um coming into your life we've got archangel raphael here he's got this beautiful emerald green heart right in the center of his chest yeah can also represent um in terms of this tarot deck recovery from illness as well but definitely a, a love interest there and you got the chariot so whenever we get the chariot right there's always a black and a white horse which can represent the light and dark sides of self. Horses always represent action orientated. So it's basically recognition of the efforts you've been making. It can represent achievements, public recognition coming in for the hard work that you, you've been doing. And you've got the nine of fire, which is protecting what you've created, never given up. Keep moving towards your goals, your dreams. Even if you're feeling challenged, there's obstacles or anything going on your path. Spirit saying, do not give up. You're on the right path for you. All right, there's two here. Oh, this is gorgeous. You got the ten of earth, this beautiful financial security, the ability to look after yourself, to look after your family, this gorgeous generational connection to family 
um, very gorgeous. It can represent retirement, inheritance coming your way as well. Beautiful connection to family. Uh, you've got the page of water. She's very dreamy. She's got a cup in front of her which is overflowing. Just watch your emotions aren't out of check, yeah? There's a dolphin in the background representing happiness. It can certainly represent your intuition, your psychic insights. It can certainly represent a new love interest coming your way. I think of yours wants to come out in twos. Wow. You've got the world and you've got the wheel. Both come out together. So both of them represent cycle completions, brand new cycle starting. The world represents, I mean, there's beautiful coins hanging around us, so many signs and synchronicities from spirit coming together for you. The freedom to do whatever you want. Um, all your paths opening up for you towards success. So beautiful. And uh, in, you've got the wheel here, which, as I mentioned, so there's lots of opportunities available to you, paths you can follow. I mean, Spirit's saying you're on the right path. Delays over, um, end of difficult, challenging times in your life, brand new, fresh start. Directly related to the chariot, so Spirit's saying move yourself forward, Capricorn. You've also got the seven of waters. There's lots of choices here. There's something you need to make a decision about. You'll know what it is. It'll be different for each of you. Spirit's saying stop procrastinating. Make a decision. Move yourself forward. You can't stay in that, stay in that state of indecision for too long, Capricorn. You send yourself a little bit BS crazy, dare I say. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And you got the Justice card. So if you're going through anything legal, I'm pretty sure this came out for you in May. Yeah, it's going to be handled in a fair and just manner. It can also mean karmic justice coming back into your life. You know, if you've been doing it really tough, things easing up for you, more success coming, more abundance coming. All right, let's put you some clarifiers with a beautiful Muse Tarot. Oh, you pulled the world again. Again, cycle completions it can certainly represent travel. Some of you may want to relocate. I know we've, you know, we're still going through the restrictions with COVID. Um, perhaps looking at things from a much bigger global vision of what you're trying to create in your life for some of you, but certainly cycle completions, brand new fresh starts. And you've got the Six of Inspiration. She's got this beautiful star on top of her head. Again, it speaks to being in the spotlight, public recognition, achievements coming your way. For some of you, it's being a public speaker, acting, singing, um, being some sort of coach on stage, some sort of teacher, sharing your knowledge, your wisdom with others, certainly celebrating your success, your achievements. And you've got the aid of materials. So being recognized for your expertise, all of your experience, your wisdom, um, high quality work that you do, you come to this beautiful place uh, that certainly is directly related to the chariot. So again, being recognized for your hard work. Um, rewards, recognition coming your way. What else does Capricorn need to know? Thank you. And you've got the magician. So in terms of the decision you need to make, if you have a look at this, she's got four balls, yeah. She's seeking spirit. She's seeking guidance from the universe, from spirit. So when we get the magician like this, it's about you've got lots of options in front of you, lots of things that you could focus your energy, your time on. Pick one or two. Don't do them all, yeah, because you're going to dissipate your energy, feel really tired, exhaust yourself. Spirit saying, what is your highest priority right now? in terms of the decisions you need to make, what you want to focus your energy on, yeah, and do that. I mean, the magician also represents you've got everything within you to create the life you want to create. You're ready. And you've got the six of voices. Now, if I bring this really close, right, she's overcome a lot of challenges, yeah, very steep, pointy inclines, <laughs> yes. And she's on the tip of a precipice about to take a leap of faith, yes. Yeah? So there's an angel holding her up. There is never a safety net. 
So it's always just trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition, your own guidance, your heart chakra, your wisdom, and going after what it is you want. Yeah. All right, let's pull you some angel healing messages. What is it Capricorn needs to know right now? Ah, oh, you got mindfulness. Be mindful of another's feelings and needs. Someone needs your love right now. A loving thought is all it takes. So someone may not be traveling as well as you think they are and spirit's saying you need to reach out to them. You've also got the healing angel. At this very moment, you are bathed in gold, pink, and deep green light. Accept this healing. We, your angels, surround you with wings of love. You are eternally free, eternally fresh, and eternally abundant. So some of you, I mean, it hasn't come through in your reading, but some of you might feel like you need a little bit of healing right now. And courage. You have what it takes and just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. Stop procrastinating, Capricorn. The angels are saying and just go for it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put you some guidance from the gorgeous Divine Circus Oracle. What is it Capricorn needs to know right now? Ah, you've pulled the guest of honour. Uh, number 22 represents taking a leap of faith, letting go. Let's pull you up. The guidance. This is a beautiful deck by Lana Fairchild. If you're wondering, if you do like the Oracle decks I use, they are listed down below. It says Capricorn. Have you ever felt like you're on the outside looking in? Maybe like everyone else has found their place, really belonging to someone or something, having set themselves up for life, with you still working out how to get past the security guards at the front gate. It's time for your outsider status to change. You're invited into the inner circle. There are times to break free from the crowd, to stand alone and have the courage to be the outsider. And if you're brave enough to endure the times when you feel like you don't fit in, you gain a precious treasure. This is the ability to know who you really are and to learn to love that self. When you're solid in your self-esteem and your self-knowledge, the powers you've developed as an outsider, including different viewpoints and ways of understanding the world, can be brought back to the rest of the world to be shared to create a better world for all. It's a bit like having a soul version of sharing your holiday pictures with the family after a big adventure opening up their minds to other worlds and maybe inspiring them to take their own journey. But if you've spent long enough on the outside, on the fringe of life, perhaps leaving people behind, it can take some intention and attention to change course. You might have become used to being the lone wolf or standing so apart from the crowd that there's no one around you. That will have served a purpose, but you're invited to shift your ways now from setting yourself apart to returning with that wisdom to share with others. It means believing you can sail straight past the security guards at the door, straight into the most deliciously wonderful party and into the VIP room in the center. It's your time for acceptance at a greater level because you are safe. You've learned to accept yourself so you'll not hand your power over to others as though their approval means more to you than your own self-possession you can be amongst the crowd and take your rightful place there, yet still be an individual, very much at home. Belonging and sharing your treasures with others still exactly who you are in truth. So this oracle brings you a message. You are going to be offered pride and place in something that matters a lot to you. Accept it. It is your time to feel as though you've been chosen and that you belong. Kind of beautiful, kind of sort of correlates with the chariot energy coming through. Yeah. And there's a really fun healing ritual here, yeah? It says, imagine, visualize, feel, or pretend there is a big invitation before you. It's on a scroll with fancy lettering and a big red wax seal. Open it. It has your name in huge swirling letters, and it says you are invited. Can you feel excited about this? Happy. Will you accept the invitation? Then say aloud, just listen, yeah? I belong I have pride of place, the place that only I can fill. I am one of a kind, yet I belong to humanity. I am invited to take my place at the feast of life. I accept my invitation. 
I will partake with relish. Let's party. You finished your healing ritual. Mm -hmm. There is a very beautiful affirmation here. It says, every door I wish to open for me does so at the perfect time and in the perfect way. I am invited to all that life has to offer and I accept it with joy in my heart. Ah, oh, so many beautiful things come anyway, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Open those doors. Open your heart. Let down the walls. It's coming. Oh, yeah. All right, those are your messages. For those of you watching the free version of this reading, if you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We are going into the extended version next. So VIP members, those of you going wanting the extended, hang around. Um, there's so much beautiful energy coming through. There's the gorgeous lovers. There's certainly a love connection here. Uh, there's certainly this sense of achievement, recognition, success coming your way, the ability of a, to look after your family, this beautiful prosperity, abundance coming in. And there's cycle completions going on in quite a big way, I've got to say. So we'll certainly have a look at that. And for some of you, there's a decision to make. Mm -hmm. So we'll certainly dive deeper into those. As I mentioned, we'll also be... Uh, Going into the love forecast, we'll be doing that next. What your soulmate's thinking, feeling, going through, your connection to them, relationship influences happening, all that kind of stuff. So all you need to do is hit the join button on my channel to get instant access to the extended version. of will has a link in the description box below. So those of you leaving us right now, it's been awesome to have you here. Make sure to come back again. VIP members, those going into the extended hang around, we're doing love next. All right, Capricorn, in terms of love, we're going to pull you a message from the beautiful Lovers Oracle. Oh, this one wants to come out. Oh, they're in this gorgeous embrace. Oh, dare I say, it does say embrace. It says, through each other you find the missing pieces. So there's a gorgeous love connection coming to you where your strengths may be their weaknesses, their weaknesses may be your strengths, yeah? So you're actually going to meld together like that in this beautiful connection. It's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. All right, let's have a look and see what's coming towards you in love with the Romance Angel Oracle. What does a Capricorn needs to know? You've got clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you soon. So it speaks to those of you that are single, got maybe got a few options going on. What is it you truly want, Capricorn? You've also got the message to have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. We'll see what else comes out with that because that could go for um, couples, somebody you've just met. Let's just see what else comes out with it first. Mm, okay, you've got give your relationship a chance and work on that partnership. So if there's something bothering you in a connection, Spirit's saying just to open up and have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, yeah? Find out where you stand, clear the air. You've also got the message to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Can be younger, older than you, different cultural background. It's just being open to the possibilities. Whereas is having a really fixed idea. And you've also got the message to retreat and spend that one-on-one -on -one time together to get to know each other better. Um, couples, if you're in a committed partnership, Spirit's saying you need to take that time and one-on-one -on -one time together. You're away from everything. Singles, you've got the message to let your friends help you. Get out there with your friends. Might help you meet new people. Wow, okay. You've got a reconciliation here. Someone from your past is returning to your life. It's sitting under having the heart-to-heart to heart conversations. you really got to ask yourself how you feel about that connection. Have they changed whatever pulled you apart in the first instance? Is it fixable? Has it been fixed? You know what I mean? We often separate for a very good reason. And uh, you've also got getting to know each other. Yeah, you're in this very early phase. It's related to those of you giving your partnership a chance. So it certainly speaks to new love. And you've got divine timing happening in your love life. It's worth waiting for. So not settling for less than you're worth. 
getting really clear about the type of partner you want, but also being open to them being a little bit different to you. It certainly speaks to singles. And you got the message, have faith and trust at this time, particularly couples that need to spend some time away with each other. It's sitting directly under that. Having trust, singles, that there is a beautiful love coming towards you. All right, let's uh, pull you some guidance from the uh, Angel Answers Oracle. Mm. Got romance here, so definitely attracting romance to you. It's directly related to getting very clear about what it is you want. Oh, darlings, those of you where there's a reconciliation, there's a big no from the universe. We will certainly dive deeper into that. Oh, Might have got some of you in the heart chakra. <laughs> yep, I can feel it. <laughs> okay, you've also got the message to wait. Super interesting. It's directly related to somebody new that you've met. And giving your relationship a chance. So Spirit saying don't rush into it. Take the time to get to know this person. Let's see what else comes out. We'll pull some clarifiers on that. Mm. You've got uh, someone is in going through improving health at this time. Can be you. Can be the person you're trying to connect with. Can be a timeline going on. Mm, and Spirit's saying there's no need to worry. Those of you in a committed partnership that need to take some time away from each other, it's directly related to trust. Uh, why is weight here? What is it we need to know here, Spirit? What are they waiting for? Wow, again you've pulled trust twice. Okay. Trust and a yes. So... Big fat yes. There's definitely a solid guidance here to work on relationships that are new. Um, you might need to wait for the right timing. Don't rush it. But Spirit's saying that there will be, just to trust at this time, there will be a great big fat yes there. Okay, well, let's dive into that deeper. So we've got singles. We've got someone where there's a reconciliation. So we'll have a look at, for those of you thinking of someone you're separated from, we've got new love and we've got committed partnerships. So let's bang them all out. All right, first up, singles. Let's have a look at your uh, messages in terms of soulmate guidance, love guidance at this time, your energy. Okay, you're going through a massive transformation, a paradigm shift. Massive personal growth. And my smile hides the fact that I'm lonely and would love a partner, which will give you that impetus, that energy to put yourself out there. And there's health recovery going on. Wait for perfect timing. So the health recovery is you. That's come through twice now. All right, let's have a look at new love. We need to work on a partnership. Be a bit open. Ah, magnetic attraction. My fire burns for you. Well, that's nice to know. You've also got soulmates. We may crash and burn, but the memory will last forever. So it may be a lesson you're about to learn or give them a lesson. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Darlings, it's a twin flame past life connection. So make sure you're ready. What does that mean? If you've got a health recovery, do the health recovery. If there's anything you need to let go of, let it go because the options you've got here is that you could be soulmates. If you're not ready, you connect with this person. That's why there's a weight here. You'll bounce off and repel each other. If you're balanced and ready and whole and so are they, you've got a twin flame past life connection that can be enduring, yeah? That's the message for you guys. Super important. Super important you listen to that guidance. All right, let's do. Those of you that are separated from someone and they're trying to come back to you, what's going on with them? Or are you trying to come back with them? Oh, yeah. 
So read these messages how it feels right to you. So put yourself on either side of this. It's either them or it's you. It says, I'm moved on and actively looking for someone new. I would suggest that's you. Because all the signs are here that singles you out to mingle. Mm -hmm. Still angry and hurt and working through my feelings. Again, that could be you. It could be them. It was fun, but I didn't feel a deep connection. I would suggest some of you have moved on from that and you've got someone trying to come back to you. Mm -hmm. We will dive more into that. All right, couples, let's see what's going on with you where you need to spend some time with each other. Those of you in been in a committed partnership. Ah, oh, I don't know why there's distance between us. So one of you is a little bit confused right now is why there's a bit of distance going on. And I could do with a little bit more loving. So your partner wants more loving, those of you in a committed partnership. If it feels like you need to flip it, flip it. And I'm thinking about you right now with love in my heart. So if this is them and you're giving them a bit of the cold shoulder or you're focusing on other things, Spirit's saying you need to reconnect, show them some love and attention, take some time away with each other. There's nothing wrong, Spirit's saying, but one of you needs to open up to the other. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull you some relationship influences. First up, let's have a look at singles. Emotionally unavailable. So singles, some of you that want a partner, perhaps not yet ready because there's health recovery going on, transformation going on, um, but certainly wanting love, you need to open up a bit more. And there needs to be a heal the feminine. So what's that message? Guys, it's about looking at the feminine energy in terms of you may have had a really disappointing love experience, negative life experiences around love with the feminine energy. Um, it can be a caregiver thing, karmic imprints playing out. It's about knowing that everybody's not going to be the same as what you've had before, looking at feminine energy in a much more positive light. I mean, women can do exactly the same with masculine energy. Girls. Getting out of your masculine energy, getting into your feminine energy. Stop trying to control things. Don't put pressure on things. Just go with the flow. Get into your girly, flirty energy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lighten up. And tired of dating. So some of you are a little bit worn out with the process of that. Okay. All right, let's have a look at new love. There's this magnetic attraction going on over here. Inner peace. So this is what I was talking about. You know, you've got the option. It's going to be a soulmate or a twin flame. Has the potential to be a twin flame but might crash and burn if you're not ready. One or both of you need to find inner peace, yeah, for this connection to work, to be very balanced. And they need to heal the masculine, or you do, mm -hmm, which we've just talked about. Your masculine energy is your sense of personal power, empowerment, um, it can be the feminine that has got negative associations to masculine energy. They need to heal that. Or it can be that somebody within this connection needs to step into their personal power. Wow. There's also a message that there's something better. So just watch that energy. Mm -hmm. Particularly if you feel like it's a soulmate and it's going to crash and burn, then if that's the case, there's a twin flame here. A little bit confusing, but read it as you will. Got to give you all the messages. All right, let's have a look at this one where there's someone trying to come back to you and you've already moved on. Um, big, for, big focus on their career, or you might be focusing on your career more than love. Money is super important to them. Money is super important to you. Read it as you will. Both go hand in hand. Um, and new adventures. So you might be trying new things, getting yourself out and about. All right, let's have a look at couples. It just needs a bit more loving. Okay, so health is an issue over here. We have do have health recovery here twice. Feeling a bit insecure. It suggests your partner's feeling a bit insecure. You may have pulled away because you're not feeling great and they just need to know why because they're thinking up all sorts of things in their head. Okay, and third party. Warren, if there is a third party, is there a third party jumping in here? Mm -mm, let's have a look. 
Um, and the need to connect with friends. Either they need to connect with their friends or you're connecting, you need to connect with yours, yeah. So there's some insecurity going on there in that relationship and Spirit's saying to trust. Okay, let's have a look at love attributes. So this can be either you or the person you're connecting with, your love language, things that are important to you. So first let's have a look at singles. So um, you're active, you like the person that you want to attract to you to be active and fit. Um, you really appreciate generosity, generosity of spirit. You can be someone who is very generous with your time, with your money, with your feelings. And intimacy is really important to you. All right, let's have a look at new love. What's going on here? Wow, so there's a protector here. So they could be very protective of the relationship or you could be a protector tour of them, of the person that you're in a relationship with. They love their one-on-one -on -one time. So may you. And rock solid, yeah. So they want someone who's rock solid or you want someone who's rock solid and emotionally sound. All right, let's have a look at this connection where there's separation. Someone's trying to come back. So they're a warrior, quite anxious. Mm-hmm. Unpredictable. Oh God. <laughs> Dare I say I can see why they're not you're not together with them. And family is important to them. So they might put family in front of connections. Um, let's have a look at couples, what's going on here in terms of love attributes. Appearances are really important to them. So how you look, how they look could be important to you. Touch is very important. So showing love through touch and they're spiritual. It's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull you some soulmate messages. Let's see what's going on here, Capricorn. Take whatever message resonates with you most. If it doesn't feel like it doesn't apply to you, reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need one. Oh, yeah. You're an angel of light. Before you, I surrender past and future. All that matters is this moment. My heart is transformed every time you are near. So very much a reminder to be in the present moment with the person that you're presently with. Don't recycle through the past. Every experience, regardless of whether you perceive it as good or bad, comes with a gift attached. Yet sometimes the gift is only revealed with the passing of time. Trust all is as it should be. Third message about trusting. Which means we learn from our relationships. Some relationships are just in our lives to teach us something about ourselves. Sometimes we miss out on something we thought we wanted, only to realize later that it would have been really quite detrimental to ourselves, yeah, particularly emotionally. Ah, oh, darlings, here comes the twin flame. Two hearts merge through an explosion of love. United, they create unlimited wealth. Together, they fulfill their dreams. How gorgeous. Mm -hmm. All right, my loves, those are your love messages. Next up, let's go into your general energies. So in terms of your general energies, we're going to pull you a central energy from the beautiful journey of love, Oracle. Hmm, okay. You've pulled the mother praise, which is the power of prayer to manifest what you want. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Capricorn, you are being watched over. Many beings are aware of your existence. They know that your heart and your soul are pure, even when you may doubt it at times, because after all, you are a divine being masquerading as a decidedly fascinating mix of light and darkness. Sometimes you may not feel so pure, and that's okay. The mother prays for you, not because you're about to do something ridiculous and you might come to harm, but that you might not do something ridiculous and avoid living your full potential. She wraps you in waves of love, light and consciousness that you may feel brave enough to live your life and, and not hold back from pursuing what is within your heart or really letting it pursue you and giving in to its seduction. The mother prays, so fear not and just live your life. And this oracle brings you guidance. Ask for help from the Divine Mother who loves you unconditionally. Ask each day. 
She wants to help you and you have to ask for that help to empower her to do so. You have her great blessing. And there's a beautiful poem here. It says, I love you, holding your breath in my kiss, your heartbeat in my arms, driving home. I could see you sitting beside me, not with your eyes, but because I knew you were there. Your beautiful legs crossed, your coat open and inviting. The soft scent of you brings a smile to my lips and to my heart because I know you are still here. Oh, very beautiful. Certainly speaks to a soulmate connection. Mm -hmm. All right, in terms of a general energies, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus with the Sacred Destiny Oracle and then pull you lots of clarifiers. You pull the message to have patience at this time, particularly with the timing of things. You've got your wisdom coming out, so trusting yourself implicitly. For some of you, it's connecting into your ancient wisdom. Oh, wow. You've got trust again. That's the fourth time trust has come out. And you've also got pleasure, which is taking time out to really enjoy life, enjoy yourself. Not everything focused on hard work, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. All right, let's amp this up with some crystals. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the Energy Oracle. First up, we're having a look at patience. It's very saying you're on this beautiful journey of transformation, personal development. So take your time with it. No need to rush it. For some of you, it can certainly represent travel. Wow. Your cornucopia coming in. Success on every level. Number 11 represents brand new beginnings. So Spirit's saying it's coming in. Absolutely. It's just going to be a matter of time. Cornucopia is our prosperity. It's our health and well-being, relationships. Oh, you've got these gorgeous caring connections in your life coming towards you. Spirit's saying have patience with it. Mm, and a bit of a storm warning, which can just be related to you being impatient, dare I say. Let's pull you one more there. And that wants to come out. Okay. You've got envy here. So some of you are in a bit of a state of lack, feeling a bit of state of lack. Let's have a look at wisdom. Spirit saying you just need to get into your higher states of consciousness, your crown chakra. You can absolutely manifest what you want directly related to your cornucopia, your brand new beginnings versus being in your lower chakras. You got yin and yang, number 22, taking a leap of faith, letting go of things, being in balance, a state of balance and wholeness, all through your reading, particularly related to, as I mentioned, you want to have this twin flame connection, you've got to be in a state of wholeness and balance. Capricorn, mm -hmm. directly related to that. And there's a bit of indecision going on. Do I go left, do I go right? Mm -hmm. Don't forget you had it in your predictions that there was a choice you needed to make to stop procrastinating. Directly related to the storm warning going on in your life. What else does Capricorn need to know? Clear guidance, please. Okay. You got a woman holding a coin. Super interesting. Guys, this can be someone that you're connecting with. I'm going to say that. If it is, there's some really interesting energies around them, and I'm not going to say to you that they're great. Because they're sitting under a state of lack or envy, and there's a storm warning going on, indecision going on. So if this person's in your life, I don't think you're really 100% sure of them, particularly if it's a romantic interest. I'm just going to say that right now. Mm -hmm. Girls, Spirit's saying just have patience with the inflow of your money coming in, yeah? All right, let's have a look at trust. There's two entirely separate energies there. Mm, you got one holding a heart. Definitely a love interest here. Girls being open, ready for love. Guys, certainly a love interest. If you're in a same-sex relationship, just read that as you will. Yeah. Mm, some of you certainly experiencing financial constraints, worrying about your money. Spirit's saying get in your higher states of consciousness because this success, this abundance is coming in. Mm -hmm. Just trust. 
and you've got a thinking woman here so girls being very balanced rational guys you might have two choices in love you have two feminine energies coming out here in fact you've got three <laughs> you got three you got someone who's very balanced and and grounded you've got another one who's really focused on their money and their career and you've got another one whose heart's quite open so they might be a little bit overly emotional um, Spirit saying you need to trust your intuition on any decisions you need to make. And you've got the world here. Um, again, yeah, cycle completions, brand new fresh starts. Again, it can certainly represent travel. All right, let's have a look at this storm warning, this envy going off over here. Oh, Spirit saying you just need time for rest, rejuvenation. You just overthinking things let's have a look at this indecision mm, spirit saying make a decision take action move yourself forward let's have a look at the financial constraints mm, spirit saying there's a contract coming in capricorn if you're waiting for something it's coming in directly related to your cornucopia all right let's have a look at pleasure dare i say slam dunk darling slam dunk it's coming <laughs> stop worrying oh yes you got the door to spirit opening spirit's absolutely watching over you and protecting you at this time some of you may be more connected to your spiritual practices guidance from spirit overarchingly spirit's saying to trust your heart whatever you want to do whatever decision you need to make trust your heart and your intuition you can never go wrong and uh you got the magician again yeah so um Create whatever you want to create, Capricorn. It's entirely up to you. What do you want your life to look like? What do you want your relationships to look like? Mm, you've got the angel of love sitting right next to your heart chakra here. And the door to love opening. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> love, love, love all over your reading. Dare I say there's a choice to be made in love. Okay, let's put you some guidance from the goddess guidance deck. Have a look at this top row around having patience, the journey of transformation you're on, your beautiful cornucopia. Worrying about things. There's a gorgeous connection here. You've got Sarah's Vardy the Arts, so doing things that are creative or musical could certainly light you up, get you out of your mind and into your body. There's two here. You've got Rihanna Sorceress. Again, the Magician card in this deck come out three times for you. Also came out in your predictions. Um, Spirit's saying you're ready. Whatever you want to create, Capricorn's up to you. You've also got getting near bodies of water would be really soothing for your energy at this time. Let's have a look at trust in your wisdom, getting into your higher states of consciousness, take an action on any indecision in your life. You've got woman holding a coin here. You've got power divine passion. Just be really honest with yourself. What lights you up? What aligns with your heart space when it comes to decisions? You've also got your Aphrodite energy, guy or girl, appreciating yourself, self-care, self-nurturing activities. Let's have a look at trust that this contract's coming in. Being very balanced. There's a woman holding a heart. Might be a choice in love here. <laughs> Cycle completions. You've got couldn't you in compassion, releasing harsh judgments about self, about others, applying forgiveness to situations. Could relate to the past. You've got nematoma sacred space. So big focus on you getting into your crown chakra. Your third eye chakra, doing your spiritual practices. All right, let's have a look at taking time out for pleasure. You've got a lot about love over here. Spirit watching over you. you got Mayette Fairness, the justice card in this deck. Um, mm -hmm. Spirit saying things we handled in a fair and just manner, anything you're going through. you got Dana High Priestess. Some of you have got ancient wisdom, whether a guy or a girl, you can use in spiritual teaching. There's a lot coming through about your spirituality. And a need for you to take a leap of faith and go after what it is you want. Mm -hmm. 
all right let's put you some guidance from the crystal reading deck having a look at this top row about having patience with everything that's going on in your life mm -hmm. beautiful connection here drop the state of lack um, you've got calcite absolutely another confirmation you take some time out for relaxation uh, you got T, D of T. Some of you need to still do some heart healing. Got to say, it's going to be singles or those of you where someone's trying to come back to you. And you got black tourmaline protection, divine protection. Spirit's absolutely watching over you at this time. Let's have a look at trust in your wisdom, getting into your higher states of consciousness, loving yourself, taking action in terms of decisions you need to make. You got rose quartz in a child, so there's certainly a, a theme coming through about tapping into creativity. Mm -hmm. some of you may need to do some inner child healing and this comes through for your regular capricorn yeah it can also be a sense of fun adventure oh my god capricorn fifth message to trust fifth message to trust trust your decisions mm -hmm. dare i say let's have a look at trust trust that this contract's coming in trust that love's there trust you're going to make the right decision in love Mm hmm oh yeah <laughs> you've got spirit courts music would be so soothing for you at this time guided meditation sound therapy playing music creating music just music yeah and again you got courage yeah tiger's eye courage just basically going after what it is you want let's have a look at taking time out for pleasure there's a lot here about love justice taking a leap of faith you got hematite grounding. Absolutely need to ground and balance your energy to Mother Earth. And you got fluorite learning. There's a life lesson here, but mostly about learning about yourself. You got augment success. So everything's leading you to success in all aspects of your life. And you got lapis is all your past life. So certainly can be some past life karmic imprints playing out in your life, not trusting yourself around decisions. You can certainly be tapping into your past life gifts, abilities, sacred wisdom and knowledge at this time. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put some guidance with the messenger oracle. Powerful reading, Capricorn. So much going on. Uh, it's absolutely a time for you to seek your destiny in terms of your life path, your career. you got here the ancient ones. Your spirit guide's going to be giving you signs, synchronicities, and messages all the time. Yeah. You've also got see the truth of situation. See the truth, trust your heart, make the decisions that are right for you. Again, you've got heed the messengers. Spirit is all over your reading, Capricorn. Little um, splendid blue wren there. Um, mm -hmm. Animal spirit guides crossing your path. Changes in light quotient. Number sequences. Clear audience going off. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look at your chakras and see what need, what's going on with your chakras. Wow. Creativity has come out again. So spirit saying doing things creative is really going to lift you at this time. Some of you are very creative. You've also got your heart chakras come out again. So some of you need to trust your heart chakras, one side of it. Others of you need to leave something behind from the past. Karmic imprints, um, someone trying to come back to you that's not worth your time, your energy. Didn't work out. Let it be. Always a conscious choice. And a need for you to, be, to explore, to get adventurous, yeah? Get out of your comfort zone. Do some stuff that lights you up. All right, let's have a look at your connection to spirit, who you're connected to in the spirit world. Can be divine gifts and talents coming through. Mm, you've got a deep connection to ancient Egypt. There's your past life stuff coming through. So if you felt that connection, confirmation of that. Family is also very important. So in terms of family, you can be a role model for family. Part of your divine gifts and talents is creating a beautiful, harmonious family, um, possibly fixing family conflicts, that kind of thing. People come to you for advice. And uh, 
you've got your ancestors here one your ancestors are absolutely watching over you at this time and if you feel like you can talk to those if those that have passed over there's a connection to that you absolutely can confirmation of that all right spirit's saying you want one more message i can hear all of you going i want one more all right then mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go you got spiritual guidance all over your reading so spirit is saying the message is coming to you is spirit it is your spirit guides trust it implicitly yeah whatever's coming through for you is accurate and correct from your spirit guides mm -hmm. all right let's pull you a crowning energy from the beautiful sacred rebels oracle very cool very practical hands-on advice oh yeah you pulled the legacy of light i'm going to bring it super close so have a look at all your ancestors here in the spirit realm mm -hmm. as well as yourself got your inner child sitting there number seven represents healing let's pull you up the guidance i've got to say it's a gorgeous message mm -hmm. it says capricorn you're being asked to honour the legacy of light that is your sacred birthright. Take nourishment and support from those that have come before you, your ancestral lines not only in blood but also in spirit. Perhaps these are beings that have inspired and motivated you to live as a sacred rebel from your heart and with belief in yourself. The more you're nourished by this legacy of light from your past, the more you become a bearer of the legacy for those that will be supported by your light in the future. This is a sacred endowment from the great universal source of light to humanity. It is the light of wisdom, creativity, radical courage, love and respect that is passed down from the heart of each generation to the next. Isn't it interesting you pulled just about all of those cards? Yeah. The legacy of light is your spiritual birthright to refine and shine your essence in the world, to be like a sun, radiant and unapologetic for your nature. The oracle of this legacy of light comes to you when you need confirmation that a creative choice you're making or have made or will soon make is one that is in alignment with your sacred purpose and spiritual path of healing and growth. The legacy of light cannot be ignored without some detriment to your sense of well-being. And if you had a particular question in mind, um, even if it felt like an insignificant question, the energy around this matter is relevant to your sacred birthright to shine. Perhaps you need to trust more to know that all is well, no matter what appears to be, to ask for help and believe you deserve to receive it. The legacy of light also asks you to call on the unconditionally loving support that exists for you every day. This light will offer you all manner of assistance. To not call upon it is like starving because you believe you have no means to acquire food, whilst a feast lays before your eyes. If only you would partake of it. Perhaps you worry that you're asking too much of those who wish to assist you. It is a mistaken belief. The beings of unconditional love who assist us spiritually each day need to shine just as we do. When they are embraced for their purpose to assist with the spiritual growth of humanity through unconditional love, they too become a part of the legacy of light shining bright with love and helping to illuminate the world. And although you may doubt your goodness at times, and being human does not mean that there will not be some very dark moments on your path, this oracle affirms you are coming from love with a pure intention to simply live your life, do your best in the circumstances in which you find yourself. You're being asked to avail yourself of the help that is awaiting your request so that your own light can become part of a greater shining legacy of divine brilliance made manifest upon the earth. This oracle is also guiding you to something in your family history or spiritual ancestry that is relevant to you now. Your spiritual ancestry can be recognized through the traditions and cultures you're intrigued or interested in. They do not have to be the same as the spiritual traditions that you were raised with this lifetime, although they may be. The influence of your family history or spiritual tradition may be encouraging and constructive, but it may also be holding you back. Sometimes we unintentionally absorb the hidden fears of our parents or religious upbringing, such as the belief that dreams cannot manifest or that we have to compromise to the point of losing what makes us feel truly alive. If you can relate to this or want healing just in case it's happening, 
beyond the level of your consciousness, simply complete the healing ritual below. And if you're involved in a group project, this oracle is asking you to stay true to the heart of why you began working together in the first place and to seek assistance, protection and guidance from a source that loves you unconditionally. You can do this again through the healing ritual below. And finally, if you need a jolt to recognize that you are a creative being entitled to explore your ingenuity, perhaps through taking a class or pursuing your own artistic interests at home, this oracle also brings you guidance that yes, that is part of your life path and you're encouraged to take it further. Isn't it interesting that creativity has come through through about three times for you now? You're also acknowledged through this article as having some special creative and healing offering to make to the world this lifetime. You will leave a legacy of light for the greater good upon this planet and you'll be lovingly supported in many ways by the great creative universal intelligence when you ask for help. And if you don't know how to do that, just complete the ritual below, which is pretty much an affirmation, yeah? It says say aloud, but just listen. Through unconditional love, I am open to receiving the support, the guidance, the protection and assistance I need to manifest the legacy of light that shines through me now. I release any conscious or unconscious attachment to beliefs or relationship patterns that hold me back from fully shining my light in the world. I ask that my creative journey be aligned with my spiritual path and blessed for the greatest good, so be it. Place your hands in prayer at your heart and close your eyes. Bow your head to your hands and imagine, sense or perceive that a beautiful golden light pours down from the centre of the universe through the top of your head and into your heart, all the way down through your body and out of the soles of your feet. When you're ready, simply open your eyes. You've completed your healing process. So much there about your creativity, trusting yourself, trusting the gifts you've got to share with the world. Mm -hmm. Beautiful reading, Capricorn. Love to hear your feedback, your comments. So blessed you're in the VIP members area. Reach out if you feel like you need extra guidance, support, either through a personal reading, distance Reiki package. Um, all the info's on here or down below. Take it easy. Uh-huh, for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.